Hi, I'm Andrew Fazekas, the Night Sky Guy, and I've been doing astronomy since I was five years old when I first looked up at the heavens through my dad's telescope. And now I work with NASA, I have a show on the Weather Network, and I love to share my passion for the universe with everyone. I hope you can join me today in exploring the universe. The Aurora Borealis, or the Northern Lights, is amazing. It looks like a ghostly greenish glow, usually towards the northern horizon, and its best time to see it is in the spring and the fall. You may know the Big Dipper as part of the Big Bear constellation, but a lot of other cultures see it in a very different light. Some, in, for instance in China, think that it looks like a carriage with a, a king on it, while some Native American cultures think of it as three bears being followed by a hunter. Well, when you see a comet, that's a real special thing because these are objects from the beginning of our solar system. They're some of the oldest relics from the birth of all the planets that surround the sun. And if you get to see one, it's a real special sight. The Little Dipper, or the Little Bear, is marked by the North Star, probably the easiest star that you can find in this Little Bear constellation. And it marks the tail of the bear. Well, the Milky Way is our home. Our sun and all the planets are just one of the members of this giant island of stars, of over a hundred billion stars, in fact, that make up the Milky Way galaxy. But get this, the Milky Way galaxy itself is only one of over a hundred billion other galaxies. Well, you look up at the moon, what do you see? You see light patches and dark patches. Well, many times those dark patches make up all kinds of funny pictures. Some see maybe a man on the moon, or how about a bunny? What do you see? Well, those dark patches are made up of lava flow, ancient lava flows, and they're actually called mares, which means in Latin, oceans. The North Star, also known as Polaris, is a special place in the night sky because the entire night sky, all stars, revolve around it once every 24 hours. And it's pretty easy to find. Just take the Big Dipper stars and you'll be able to locate the North Star. How many planets are there in the solar system? Well, astronomers are debating this very same thing and they're trying to see how many are there. Right now, astronomers say that there are eight planets and a whole slew of dwarf planets, which Pluto, by the way, is the first member of this new group of dwarf planets. Is it gonna stay like that? We don't know. Stay tuned. You wanna wish upon a star? Well, get ready to wish on hundreds of stars, shooting stars, in fact, and there are many meteor showers every year. Probably the best one and the most well-known one is the Perseid meteor shower in mid-August. And that night, on, in, during the mid-August nights, you can see up to 100 meteors streaking through the night sky per hour. Now, you gotta go to a dark location to see that many, but if you're in the city, you can still get an amazing show of seeing up to 60 meteors streak through the sky. Now, what are meteors? They're actually made of sand grain sized pebbles that are floating around in space that slam into our atmosphere and produce an amazing light show. Did you know the sun is a star? Well, it's the closest one, but there are literally thousands that you can see in the night sky if you're in a dark sky. If you're in the city, you can see probably a few hundred. Bootes is the ancient Greek constellation for the herdsmen. Now, it's a favorite in the night sky, in the springtime skies, and you can look for it by looking for a giant kite, or usually it's called the ice cream cone constellation. Deneb is a super powerhouse of a star. It's one of the largest stars that we know of. And it is bright, and it's one of the three stars in the summer triangle. Now, it's not as bright as the star Vega, but that's because it's so far away. It's over 3,000 light years away from the Earth. That means that the light has taken over 3,000 years to reach your eye. Why don't you go out and try and see it yourself? Well, the strong man of all constellations is Hercules, and that's a favorite for backyard stargazers in the springtime skies. Constellation Lyra can be a challenge to find, and you may need a binocular or telescope to see it, but the first star that you'll probably notice is the star Vega, which is the brightest in the summer triangle. So that'll lead you right into the constellation Lyra, which represents the harp to the ancient Greeks. 
Well, the Northern Cross is also known as Cygnus the Swan. It's a really easy constellation to find high up in the summer skies. And it looks really like a cross-shaped constellation. And it, what makes it even more interesting is if you take a pair of binoculars and you look at Cygnus, you'll see countless of stars, all of which are part of our own Milky Way galaxy. Well, watch it that you don't get stung by this one. This is Scorpius and it's in the summer skies low in the southern horizon and marking the tail of the of the scorpion is a bright orange star called Antares. So just try to take a look in the southern skies for Scorpius. The summer triangle is really cool because it's so easy to see even from the city. It's make, made up of three bright stars and they're the brightest in the overhead skies in the summer so you can't miss it. Why don't you go out and try and find it? Vega is very easy to find because it's the brightest of the three stars that make up the summer triangle and it's only 25 light years away. Go outside and try to find it. You want to have a cup of tea? Try the cosmic kind with the giant teapot that you can see in the southern horizon all summer long. It really looks like a group of stars making the shape of a teapot and coming out is the steam from the teapot which really is the Milky Way galaxy of all the countless of stars. Try and find a teapot in the nighttime sky in your backyard. Well, if you find any of these stars, planets, or constellations, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you find. Visit the website to try this and tons of other activities that we've built just for you. Check out andycamper.com. Come on, campers, let's get outside.